All right, Todd. So this here is the paint restoration system. Um, I can see it's color coded, and obviously it's to uh, so people don't get confused. Is that correct? Easy use is very important. So it's color coded. Three simple steps. Yep. Yellow pad. Yep. Scratch remover so plus. Yellow liquid. Gotcha. Shine restorer. Blue liquid. Blue pad. Synthetic wax. Cool. White pad. I've even noticed that the uh, print is the same. Exactly. Color as the pad as the well. easier you can make it for a do-it-yourselfer that hasn't done this before. Yeah. The more engaged they're going to be, the better the experience That's is cool. going to be. That's cool. And it's amazing the finish, the result this gives, isn't it? And this is what, a 94? Right. 94. So this is to remove, you know, the oxidized paint and what have you. And, and again, really I'm surprised that it, it looks that good. The results are really good. And what it's going to do is take oxidation and very light scratches out. Okay. And again, you're utilizing a, a polisher. Yep. You're not doing it by hand. It's going to go much faster and your results are going to be better. That's cool because I think a lot of people think, you know, they're just going to be rubbing and rubbing and rubbing, sure. but it's really holding the tool. Mm -hmm. So what's the next step? So next step, you got the yellow pad loaded. You're going to yep. take the scratch remover plus. Okay. Put some of the liquid, spread it around the, okay. the pad there. Okay. And then what you want to do is... Any more than that? Nope, that's good. That's good. Now you want to set it face down on the oxidized yep. paint, smear it around a little yep. bit. So we don't spray everybody in the room. Yep, and you want to have contact on the surface when you turn the tool on. Okay. And then you're going to you're gonna work that product all over the oxidized paint to refine those scratches. Cool. So I'll do this, and it's basically, that's the first step. Change pads, second step. And the last step is the white. Exactly. Okay, so let's give this a whirl. I think that's what a lot of people think, um, that they've got to do it by hand, but it's really simple, isn't it? Oh, you can see you're not working very hard. Your elbow's not going to wear out. You your shoulder's not going to work hard. <laughs> yeah. And, and it is. It, you're waxing, even waxing a car can be fatiguing, better yet, rubbing out scratches. It's a lot of work, but with this tool, it makes it much, much easier. It's just like an orbital sander that, you know, we use for sanding doors or right. baseboard trim. Right, and what's nice about that action is it's a very mild action in terms of a tool, so you don't have the risk of damaging your paint. Right, gotcha. Okay, well, mate, that's simple. And it's just a matter of taking it off like so, putting the next one on, but wiping that before the next application, correct? Yep. Very cool.